What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Eat With Coral Blush. Today I've fancied some rice. Now, I'm not saying it's biryani, but I've tried to make it a little bit like a biryani. I tried to get lamb mince, but I couldn't, I had none left, so I just got beef mince. Because um, the chunks of lamb, for about five chunks of lamb was like five pound, I thought I ain't paying that for five chunks of lamb. So I thought mince is the next best thing to mix in with the rice for meat. So we've got some peel or rice just ready made, ready to steam in the microwave. I cooked the mince off, mince off added taco seasoning because I always do. Uh, chopped up some cucumbers, uh, one red onion and I think it was three um, tomatoes. Uh, mixed everything together and voila, smells delicious guys. Um, I know biryani is like lamb, lovely big chunks of lamb. Um, but the rest is very similar. Uh, the only thing I haven't got, what usually comes with biryani, is the vegetable curry. But this is just as nice. I just love the rice anyway. So anyways, let's get a mixture. You can see plenty of cucumbers, tomatoes, red onion, um, beef, mince, oops. Oops. Mmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I love the cucumber and the I say raw onion it was literally in just to mix in in the wok. Still tastes quite raw, but it's lovely, lovely and sweet. And the tomato. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice, guys. The minced beef's lovely in it. I put a full packet of taco seasoning in. <laughs> we drink, I've just got water, guys. I've got plenty pop in, but I thought, just fancy some nice iced water. Oh, lovely and cold. How are you all today, guys? Um, Kenny's back to work tomorrow, but Ellis is off till... I think Ellis is off for another week, because he had three weeks to take. This makes a massive pan. There's loads left. I put my portion to one side. I've only used half of the portion I thought I would have ate because when I added the rice in, it just like went huge. <laughs> I've still got half a wok full. So Kenny's busy making a jack of potato to put his in. So that'd be nice. Mmm. The little ones are meant to be going back to school on Tuesday. There's been a big hoo-ha between like the um, all the heads of the schools and the government um, think because the heads of the schools think all the schools should be closed for at least another two weeks. Um, but Boris, good old Boris, no, they'll be fine. They'll be fine because apparently this new strain is like I don't know. Don't quote on anything. It's just what I've heard on and off through the news. It's apparently like a lot more contagious through, through kids. Kids can pass it on a lot quicker. I've just never understood all the different tiers for different areas of the country. People are still travelling. So they're not, they're not sticking to the areas that they should be sticking to. Why not just put the whole country on the same thing? Probably four weeks time you could have it like under control and get the vaccines out quicker. We've got a military, get the military on doing the vaccines. Because 
because I can honestly say this year being on lockdown, off lockdown, on lockdown, off lockdown, instead of just sticking to a good few weeks on a really strict lockdown, I know it's horrible, but and people really suffer, even I've suffered in the previous lockdowns, <clears throat> but when you think you're getting back to normal and you brought back down, going into lockdown, and it's just like, like really playing with your mental health, isn't it? My mum messaged, was it yesterday the other day before, saying she's getting her injection, the vaccine, mm, sometime this week, I think. I think it's Friday. She's one of the first ones to get them because um, she works in a care home. She's having to be getting tested like every week. Um, so she'll have her vaccine come Friday. Oh, the thing cold. Me Nana's desperate for hers. Um, me Nana's sister had hers quite quick. But me Nana's dying for her appointment to come through. Mmm. This is delicious, guys. So I think the um, all the schools are having like a major meeting. But I think it's been left up to each individual school if they want to open or not. Still no like yes or no from Boris. So some schools are shutting. So some schools are staying open. I mean, the kids do need to be at school. Like, I, I agree with that because they've lost out so much already. So any education's better. But a safe education, you know. Mine will be going back if, the, if they do. Because they're meant to be... That was what I was going to say. They're meant to be having a meeting on Monday. Last minute, they're due back to go back on um, Tuesday. So depending on this meeting, we'll decide if their school's staying open or not. I definitely think the whole country should be on the same lockdown, not certain areas. The whole country should be on the same one. It's like the only way you're going to get a, like a hold of it. Hmm. Anyways, that's me little rant for today, guys. <laughs> like I say, I don't really watch the news. I only, like, perked up when I heard about the school. Like, me ears perked up when I heard about the schools might be closing. Because me nana FaceTimed us yesterday and says, the kids are off for another two weeks. Um, but then looking into it, I think it was mainly down south, schools down south. But then it came on Sky News that up north are going back. And it's up to each individual school to decide if they're opening or not. But why should it be up to them? You know what I mean? The government should just say open or close, simple as that. To be fair, like, I wouldn't like that job. Because, A, they do, didn't even know what the virus was at first, did they? So imagine trying to get to grips with it. But I definitely think it could have been dealt with better than it has been.
Heard that door. <laughs> Need the WD-40 out. Mmm. <laughs> I'd be glad to get into routine again actually guys even though I dread the school run I'll be glad to get up ready and out mm -mm. Ken yeah. will you fill me water up please oh. have a little rest <sighs> cucumber's lovely in that rice Freshens it right up. Can't really taste the tomato, to be honest. Thank you. I don't think Oscar like that, Ken. Like, oh, hi, you know what you give him? Ah, yeah. oh, right. Oh, well, he like tuna and his jagged potato. I can just imagine his face spotting the onions. <laughs> you could go, oh, I don't want that. <laughs> mm. Had a bit of a coven fit there. I did save loads of lamb after my Christmas dinner. Put it in the Tupperware tub. Warned Kenny to keep off it because I was going to make a lovely big lamb curry. Because I've never made a lamb curry before with proper lamb like that. <clears throat> yeah, I should have put it in the freezer, not the fridge, because each day we just done something different or we got to take away and I never ended up getting around to doing it. So I had to bin a load of lamb. <clears throat> I was quitting. Kenny was foaming his I could have had loads of sandwiches. <laughs> so I still wanted to make it, but I thought I'll just use beef mince. <clears throat> Look, this is Kenny's. So he's made jack of potato. That looked lovely. I've been craving a jack of potato like but I've bought some crab sticks because I'm gonna fill mine with uh, crab sticks and that like seafood sauce stuff. I might do that for my next video guys. But there's no um, big potatoes left now. What? One. Because he's give the kids one now. And I bought what all. Did you have a big potato yesterday as well? Mm. Hmm? Mm. Oh, yeah. We've got like the last of the alcohol what we would drink on a regular basis gone. I wanted it gone guys because <clears throat> I'm sticking to at least just once a week because no since the first lockdown was bang on summer in the garden all the time like that's the thing you do oh nice sunny day have a can of cider or something or get some cocktails on the go and just oh <clears throat> Pure boredom all the way through lockdown. We've drank like through the week and the weekend. And I mean, usually if we know, excuse me, if we know we're going to have a drink, we'll not have with tea because once you have your tea, you're like not in the mood to drink. Well, we're not. Pardon me. So we usually don't have with tea, but then we'll have a good drink and then get the munchies later on. you like in the cupboards just eating anything. What's easy to quickly ram in your mouth and probably much more than that that you would usually eat. So between drink, <clears throat> getting the munchies, 
not being out and about what you would usually be doing on a daily basis all through this lockdown just both were like we both feel like we've put on the pounds like probably everyone has everyone I speak to says the same so that's it from this <coughs> weekend I says to Kenya when all all the Christmas drink gone we're only drinking if once if that a week <clears throat> and it has to be a weekend no through the week drinking anymore because that's just ridiculous um, not only that, we also want to start saving like money, like putting money aside and <clears throat> like enjoying life, not just wasting it. Like if we're bored, we'll just go and quickly buy some beer or something, you know what I mean? What that money could be getting saved. So I want to stay focused this year. I want a comfortable year financially. I don't want to waste money like we have been. <clears throat> not that it's wasted, but days really you don't need to have a drink do you but i think once a week's like enough yeah i just want to focus on <clears throat> having a better life really saving me and um, youtube's taking off that's like getting better and better every month <clears throat> so slowly but surely guys we'll get there you never know oh could win the lotto or oh, i could become like be love live in a mansion <laughs> hey she's done it though through youtube hasn't she loads of people have got loads of stuff through youtube just depends on how popular you get and how many viewers are watching your videos and stuff so i'm looking up to the future guys i want a nice bright future i want to be financially comfortable i hope we're all gonna be nice and healthy have a lovely big house that's me dreams, guys. I've got like, a, um, you know when you manifest things and you put things into the um, universe. I've got a screensaver, like a screenshot on my phone. I've got the gold YouTube plaque because that's like a million subscribers. That would be me dream, dream, dream to get to a million subscribers. I know that's like way out of thingy, but so that I've got a um, big picture of a lovely bride in a wedding dress like because I want me, me fantastic wedding what I would love. I've got a nice car. I would like to have a car with you. I need to pass me a uh, driving test. Um, big, lovely big house. Or even just enough money to do this house perfect, exactly how I want it to be. Like new kitchen and bathroom. And there's still loads, even though we've got a nice house, it's like there's still loads we would like to do to it. We would like to have porches, extensions on the back, big bifold doors, garden all proper done there's still loads of things you want to do even if I stayed in this house as long as I could get it how I want it or just move to a lovely bigger house so that's it a nice house nice car uh be financially stable that's another thing like no financial worries um a YouTube plaque and a lovely big massive traditional wedding so that's what I've put out in the universe guys that's what I want not like this year like but just eventually I want that to happen. I suppose that's everyone's dreams, isn't it? So, <clears throat> I've got it on my screensaver. And you're meant to, like, visually look at it and believe you deserve it and believe you're going to achieve it. And you will. The universe will bless you if you truly believe, like, you deserve it. So, we'll see, guys, where we are in 10 years' time, eh? I could be videoing in my lovely big studio room with my green screens. Lovely setup all the time. I don't have to take everything out. <laughs> take everything off the table. Put me little backdrop behind us hanging on me blinds. <laughs> Never mind. They're me dreams, guys. <clears throat> Thought I'd share them with you. Let us know what you dream of and what, like, goals you've got, like... Not like necessarily for this year, but like what you want to achieve, like maybe in the next five, ten years. Because if you don't dream, everyone has to have a dream, don't they? Well, I'm going to go. I've been rabbiting on for too long now. That was lovely, but I'm full now. So guys, if you like the video, <coughs> give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of future uploads. I love you all. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.